The proposal was voted through on February 20th and the first cut to our budget is 23% and that already took effect in April. The next cut next year will be 42%. So a 65% overall cut would mean a forced closure because that's quite plain and simple to everyone other than the council it would seem. Um, so we're having to deal with those cuts already and the 23% cut, the first one, would be sufficient unless something dramatic happens to close us by Christmas and then you've got nowhere to go as the Harrogate heads say, as our head teacher has said, as the other Pru head teachers have said with a whole host of kids with complex needs um, and there aren't alternatives in place. Um, we've been asking the council, pleading with the council, trying to negotiate with the council uh, since their emergency budget meeting on September 4th to try and get answers as have parents, as have families to see exactly what these alternatives are and there just aren't sufficient alternatives in place. It just makes no sense to close an outstanding provision when there's a lack of provision and also when exclusions only look like increasing. Um, for every one student that's excluded, head teachers tell us there's at least a dozen other students that just aren't suited to mainstream. They're not necessarily you know, the most difficult uh, kids, they just need a chance to succeed at more sort of vocational subjects, hands-on subjects. And that's just common sense, we need an alternative curriculum, but the speed of the cuts and the speed of change, it will just, it'll be an absolute disaster. So the Grove has been a very important part of the education provision in Harrogate for many years. And just to explain, um, mainstream secondary schools, uh, this is one of them, uh, provide a whole range of facility for all the children. They're all comprehensive schools, they all welcome children of all types and sizes and with all different needs. And they put on um, a level of uh, inclusive provision that allows them to meet most of those needs. But there are some children where what we've got within a mainstream setting just isn't enough. And actually the setting itself becomes something that stops children actually succeeding. And that can lead to things like fixed term exclusion or worse, permanent exclusion. All the heads in Harrogate want to reduce the levels of exclusion. We know that that is not good for the individual concern. But as head teachers, we also have a responsibility to keep good order in our schools and to protect other children from the kind of behaviour that might make them feel fearful of coming into school. That's just not acceptable for parents or other children. So the Grove has provided a facility for us to be able to work with in a kind of proactive way to do preventative work for some of those children and also an extremist to know that those children who are being excluded are being looked after properly, are safe and not on the streets, are being educated and hopefully the work that's done at the Grove has been proven in the past has allowed them to re-enter mainstream provision rather than be lost to the system. Now, some would say that, you know, all this can happen within a school, but under the current funding uh, arrangements for schools, schools are struggling to do the basics in school. And there's been a kind of 8% real terms cut in funding over the last five years, 20% uh, cut in post-16. So you can imagine for schools that have got hard stretched budgets to try and even go beyond what they're already doing, which is really going a long way, in this uh, is very difficult. We also know that the local authority faces really, really difficult decisions. Their funding has been cut and they have looked very carefully about what they can continue to provide for young people. I'd always hoped that we could come to a solution between the schools and the local authority that would use that precious reserve in the best way to suit all our children. At the moment there somewhat appears somewhat of an impasse and as, as school leaders we're worried that the proposals so far don't seem to meet the needs of the children we know we've got and are passing that back across to schools an expectation we'll solve all those problems and we don't feel we can. Harrogate's unusual and it doesn't have uh, the kind of options for alternative provision that maybe occurs in other areas, whether it be Middlesbrough, Leeds, Bradford, wherever, we just don't have those options. So the kind of rich provision that we would want to be able to draw doesn't exist within the Harrogate area. So when the Prue goes, there isn't much left to call on, and that's our problem. Not that the Prue's perfect, we're trying to pretend everything is right and no change is needed. Quite the opposite, I'm sure change is needed. But actually what's going in its place, we've still to understand what that is. We welcome the fact that Stuart Carton from the local authority has agreed to, to meet with us and, and talk through that and explain that further. We, I think all the heads in, the, in, sorry, in Harrogate would want to work with local authority, with partners and other institutions to get the best for young people. 
we all want the same thing. We want to look after, educate, support the young people, including those most vulnerable within our communities. And that's what we're helping, trying to help today, to draw attention to this about the kind of crisis as we see it in our locality. Our main focus is on this march today, we're doing 10 miles, six different schools around Harrogate to try and support members of the Grove because we've got 34 children and we've got 10 members of teaching staff that potentially could have no jobs after Christmas but we've got no answers from North Yorkshire Council Council and keep trying to blame it onto Delta that they need to provide the provision for the school. That's right, they absolutely do need to provide provision but they need answers from North Yorkshire County Council as to what the provision is going to look like next year. We fully appreciate that there's funding cuts, nobody's just in that but we need answers for these children which are the most vulnerable in society because where are they going to go suggesting that they go back to mainstream is just not the answer they were in mainstream that didn't work they've now in the pro putting them back in mainstream is not the answer um. Well, obviously, St Aidan's is very much in support of this particular campaign. Um, over the years, we've had outstanding relationships with the Grove Academy, and they have done what we regard as essential work in supporting children uh, who are struggling within mainstream education. Uh, I'm not really referring to those who are just behavioural issues. I'm talking really about children who really do struggle to cope within large schools, within the mainstream education system. And as a result, the work that these, the Pru uh, and Grove Academy in particular have been able to do is they've been able to support these young people, perhaps at a young age when things are not as dramatic and as crisis driven as, as they are at, at the end. And that particular work has been really crucial in supporting schools, even if it's a little bit of respite care for the children for six, seven weeks, where they've been able to work within small groups and in different sorts of situations, building up their self-esteem, giving them coping strategies for how they can move forward when and if they return to our school. And the removal of this particular facility from Harrogate will put added pressures upon each of the individual schools. Um, I'm sure that people recognise nowadays that there just is not any spare money around uh, in, our, in our funds. And as a result, uh, collaboration between the schools, working with the PRU, would mean to say that we don't have to do things individually, that we can come together share the support that is provided and make sure that we are serving the interests of all those children who are vulnerable young people within our society.